My name is Michael Ellis and I'm here to speak about one of the world's most important archaeological discoveries and show some of these very strange and different artifacts. These artifacts cannot be attributed to any other culture. This artifact here was found by Ed Conrad in coal in the Pennsylvania uh, era coal which is 280 to 300 million years old. Here is a Ed Conrad with a skull found inside of stone. So this is, he's from over in Kentucky which is a neighboring state of West Virginia. That shows that another independent person has found coal and skull and human bones in coal. This is a bell also found in West Virginia in 1944. Documented, studied, everything these artifacts cannot be attributed to any other culture or civilization this is the front of the bell the bell is only two inches the, the bell is about four to six inches but the uh, symbol on the top is only two inches this is the back of the bell you can see that it appears that it's down on one knee up and one knee down and wings spread this is a multiple symbol image the bell is made of brass and has an iron clapper which shows found inside a coal that this is metal discovery has been suppressed and ignored so now I have decided to go to the public the artifacts in this collection have coal and coalified material attached to a few of the artifacts. As you can see here, the artifact has coal still attached to the back of it or coalified material. And it has the ring, the loop that goes through the hole, which was a wire, which still is at the top. It's a multi symbol artifact. This artifact here is encased, totally encased metal artifact which has coal or coalified material still attached to the artifact that's inside which is metal. These artifacts are found with a metal detector and they surely are among the world's oldest. This here are two artifacts that are carbon, a type of coal. They both stand upright and they have very faint art on these pieces. Here we have a petrified wood bird which is also many symbols like the uh, turtle. It can be turned to just a bird's head and uh, other symbols. All these artifacts are created from multiple symbols this here is the same artifact it's just turned to the rearing cobra angle if you had laid this artifact to the left it would be a long neck bird and here we have petrified wood artifacts from the lycopod tree 280 million to 300 million years old there's two owls they stand the bird that's on the right and here's one of the owls and you can see some of the grooves and this art is very strange and you can see that that was the wings of the bird which was the owl also it has art on it very hard to see but these both of the owls do stand and the bird which is right here is a bird that also comes from the lycopod tree and it also has art but it's very hard also to see but you can see that this is the symbol of a bird which is petrified wood which will be very interesting when it's tested examined and dated here's another artifact this is very strange artifact it's made on the symbols and in on the stone or the petrified wood there's petrified wood strips embedded into the stone 
and these strips of either wood or some material has petrified and it's in the symbol of shapes and can create art and symbols and it is arranged in a specific way that when you turn the artifact to different directions it will give you art and symbols of a different type just like the metal artifacts do and this artifact here is in the uh, form of a dog on the left side and on the other is just the symbols of a whole head this is very similar to the strips that was on the the previous uh, artifact this is a Olmec counting they count uh, artifact from Mexico the Omex use this as a counting device it's the same as on this stone very similar to what's on the stone that is petrified wood that's still embedded in this stone there's much more to this artifact here you see the artifact that stands upright on its own you can see how the strips were put into the stone or it's a petrified wood artifact that has strips and it was made like that I don't know which is which this is a 14 inch lion head which is also a head of a person that stands upright totally still balanced this artifact you can see the wood grain of this petrified wood on the one side that's the only way I realized that it was petrified wood on the opposite side which is here you can see more of the human figure but also if you turn it to the right it'll be a lion's head and that nose will be the ear of the lion this artifact on this side has all of the art on it very hard to see from this photo but can be tested examined and you can find the same art that's made up of the metal artifacts it's in this petrified wood artifact there is also so much more but this is just a uh, short video of some of the evidence that is in this collection of artifacts.